don't do it you're not meredith gray and he's not Derek shepherd it will not end well for you don't do it Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Med. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do subscribe to my channel and join the family. Today we're doing something a little different, something that I've never done on this channel and that is a reaction video. I thought it would be cool for me to react to my favorite series of all time, Grey's Anatomy and being a medical intern at all, I have experience with working in the hospital. People always come and asked me, uh, is Grey's Anatomy really similar to um, real medicine? If you guys already know, I am studying medicine in China and this is my last two weeks of med school. And in China, the final year of medicine is an internship year. So we've been medical interns for a year now and we're pretty much almost done. And so I figured why not, um, you know, react to Grey's Anatomy as an intern and see where the similarities are, what differences there are. So I have compiled a couple of episodes and um, I just chose random episodes like these are old episodes so you guys might not even remember these scenes from Grey's Anatomy I know for a fact I am not going to remember half of these things or even all these things and so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video please do leave a like leave a comment and let's get started this is how Grey's Anatomy starts hi I'm Isabel Stevens but everyone calls me Izzy I have five rules, memorize them. Rule number one, don't bother sucking up. I already hate you, that's not gonna change. Oh uh, guys, there's always, there's always those people that like try to suck up and like try to be, you know, like teachers' pets and then there's always, funny enough, they're always paired with those attendings and doctors that don't care. <laughs> I could leave some names. <laughs> What do we got? Katie Bryce, 15 year old female, new on set seizures, intermittent for the past week. ID lost in route, started grandma seizing as we descended. You guys watch these movies where, and, and series where like someone is rushed to an ER and then the doctors run to the ambulance with a helicopter or whatever it is. Even in China, like that never happens. I remember an ambulance would show up with a patient and like no one is moved. The patient is brought in by the EMS people and they go to accident emergency and then the accident emergency doctors are the ones that take the patients wherever they're supposed to go so like if it's like a surgical patient they go to surgery if it's a medicine patient they go to general medicine if it's an OBGY patient they go to the OBGY ones you will never see like uh doctors leaving their wards and running to the ambulance that only happens in movies and even here during my internship i've never seen anyone running to an ambulance when it comes even the ER doctors don't run to the ambulance. The people that put the patient are the ones that bring the patient into the hospital and then they are seen by the doctors in the accident and emergency department and then they are sent to their various wards. Honey, you get to do rectal exams. You'll never see a person not double gloving when they do a rectal exam. How are you gonna put your finger in someone's ass wearing one glove? How? Where? No. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Katie belongs to the new attending now. Dr. Shepard, he's over there. This happens all the time. This has happened to me. This has happened to people I know. This happened to my friends. Like you go out on Friday and you meet people and you don't know these people. Monday morning you bump into everyone you met on Friday and you didn't know they were doctors and then boom, there they are, all of them in the hospital. This happens, guys. Word of advice. It's like don't just go around sleeping with people because you never know who's gonna be your boss. And the worst thing is like when you meet people, like let's say you meet someone today and you're let's say an internal medicine rotation, and then in three months you move to surgery or to Opson Gyne or to Peds, and then you meet the person that you had slept with that Friday night in that department and he's your boss. Guys, don't do it. Don't sleep with strangers. 
especially as war cities. <laughs> That's the right diagnosis. Well, I don't know. I'm only an intern. Here's an idea. Why don't you go spend four years in med school and then let me know if it's the right diagnosis? She's short of this is something that always, always happens. There's always those interns that start and they're like, ha ha ha, I'm done with med school. I'm a doctor now. I know everything. And then, like, and they'll make a diagnosis or they'll make a decision. And then one of the older nurses that have been in the hospital and worked in that department, probably like even before that person started med school will question their diagnosis or question like why do you want to do that are you sure you want to do that and then that person will say something like i remember seeing in my class in med school this has happened and then they turn out to be wrong and the nurse turns out to be right so like the doctors always telling us you guys like um always like don't be cocky and also sometimes if the experienced nurses are telling you something or asking you something really think about it because they have experience they have more experience than you and they might not be doctors but they've worked and seen these things more than you and more than you will probably ever see i told is what i told gloria that he would be fine i promised her that you what they have four little I'm girls i like you to promise anything this is my case did you hear me promise guys medical students don't Never, ever, never, 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 ever, ever, ever make the mistake of telling a patient or the patient's relatives or someone that they are going to be just fine or a promise. And if you do, make sure you never say the word promise. Like, I promise you'll be okay. Like, nothing's gonna happen. Never say that because anything could happen. Things could go wrong. Any, like, literally anything can happen. And even if it's like a flu, even if it's something simple, like, don't do it. Don't do it. <coughs> Who is calling at this hour? It's not a number. Guys, do not sleep with your senior colleagues. Don't do it. You're not Meredith Gray and he's not Derek Shepard. It will not end well for you. Don't do it. You won't believe this. Bill has an offer. Christina, so. you didn't have to say a word. Around here, the only thing that spreads faster than disease is gossip. It's not true. Everybody in this hospital knows. Listen, the way people that work in hospitals gossip, I don't know. I assume. Uh, it's a sign. Uh, it's a. It's a sign that the tumor has infiltrated the pericardium. Possibilities. Oh, I'm sorry. I on the thing. Do your homework, Yang. It could be causing a tear in the outer muscle of the heart. So we got it from. Christina. Okay, so this has happened to me before, but I uh, scrubbed out before I reached that stage, and unlike her, I wasn't just standing under that whole time I was actually assisting so hands were on the patient we were demonstrating together I just started feeling hot initially so I just started asking these like questions and like like through the procedure the surgeon asks you questions and you answer and if you don't know you don't know and so that time like he's asking me questions and I'm trying to process and I'm like my brain is processing like really so like I know the answer but like it's just it's not coming out and I kept feeling hot and I was like okay something is not right something is not okay like and he kept asking me questions and I just kept looking at him and I get I just I couldn't see anything I just started feeling dizzy and then I couldn't see anything I had like blurred vision I don't I managed to say like I don't feel so good and then he was like okay go and sit down or remove yourself whatever so I just uh, removed my gloves and I removed all my, my data guards I was wearing and then I took a seat but I like if I had kept myself like standing there I was probably gonna faint as well and then the funny thing was like the nurses were like the, the, the scrub nurses immediately asked me did you eat and I was like yeah I literally just kept on eating now and they're like and when was your last pregnancy test and then we were just looking at each other blinking and I laughed because yeah but anyway that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in general I drill. people can be categorized in one of two ways those who love surprises and those who don't. 
I so this thing where something comes and then everyone is patient or so even those that were post call you never see that happening if you're post call you're post call you go home you don't come back to the hospital because there's something you haven't slept in 24 hours what business or what are you going to do in the hospital but there's been cases where there was the one time where there was like a massive rta a taxi hit a cow or something in the middle of the night called some of the doctors that were not on duty that day and typically what happens as well is um on duty in the hospital there's someone on duty in the labs right and then there's someone on duty an intern a medical officer and a specialist so basically how it works is there's an intern a first on call and then a second on call and those are the people that are on call in each department like the four departments medicine surgery peds and obgy but then for surgery um, what also happens is that there's a person on call for ortho and neuro and a person on call for general surgery and then there's a, a specialist on call for general surgery neurosurgery orthopedic surgery and whatever other thing is there and then the ent specialist whatever so basically like the specialists are pretty much always on call but this this thing that everyone comes to the hospital you know that's bullshit Bricks for my ass. hey Um, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that everyone is guilty of like okay if you guys work in a hospital then you know how hectic it can be to get scans of any sort done for your patient or even labs sometimes like they drag their feet those people i don't know why and then also because all the departments in the hospital are trying to get scans of some sort done as well as well as labs so what happens is like people would typically will people will like fight over their cases like mine is more important no mine is more urgent mine is more this so i remember when peas um would literally come with like babies holding them like we need ct done now and then they'll like do a um, ct so guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want me to do more of these with more episodes um let me know if you want me to do this with different series even and yeah leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye